Good morning, guys. My name is Phil. Welcome back to Miranda Detailing. So in today's episode, we are working on this black Volvo CX90, CX60, but we have some issues going on here. Guys, if you're enjoying videos like this, and I hope you are, consider subscribing and clicking that bell so you don't miss stuff. So let's take a look around. So it is, of course, black paint and we have some issues going on here. Yeah. So there was an attempt to remove some burr droppings and that's what happened. That's pretty bad. We have a couple of those spots. Of course, that one wasn't removed, but I think uh, that one wasn't because <laughs> it was being removed way too aggressively. So we have another spot there. Yep, that is pretty bad and a spot back here yep that's pretty bad also so generally dirty inside and out we're going to be doing a full detail no paint enhancement but we are going to focus on those spots we're going to compound or polish those spots to remove that horrible hazing basically clean up the paint and get it glossy get it smooth and protect it interior not a ton to show but we do need to clean all of this up steam some of these areas clean up side panels like this you know all these areas you got some dirt build up here as well dirt build up here so we're gonna clean up the full interior also so let's get started as usual our rinsing our apc rinsing as our pre-wash and what are we using for our apc rinsing well right now i have super clean diluted one to four in our hdx uh pump sprayers. We basically will pre-rinse the vehicle and then hit all the wheels, tires, wheel wells, all the bottom portions and the door jams with the APC. And that's going to soften all of the dirt and junk and traffic film and grime on the paint. And then we again, blast it off. Now it only sits there about 30, 60 seconds at the most. That's enough time to soften up all of that junk. Again, any of the bird droppings, any bugs here, we'll spray the entire front end with the APC, it will soften all those bugs, making them easier to remove. Sometimes they just blast right off. And other times we need, you know, the mitt or maybe a, a bug sponge to remove the bug guts, but we don't use any dedicated bug remover. Um, sometimes we will, if we have the product, we'll, you know, we'll use it. But otherwise an APC, a degreaser, like super clean, extra tough, Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner, Meguiar super degreaser, any of those types of high alkaline cleaners will remove bugs. So let's get started. Let's get this thing cleaned up. Oh, I also have some built hamber surface or surfex HD. So I have that in here. Now I'm probably going to use that for the wheels and the tires and maybe a little bit on the paint as well. I have about uh, almost 20 ounces in the IK foamer of that. And it is mixed, I believe, one to four also. We'll, we'll use that. I've been using the Surfex HD for a little bit. Um, a fellow you know, YouTube viewer and detailer sent me a bottle to try out. And I do like it, just like the other Built Hamber Snow Foam. Um, it's a good product and it, it does work, but the Snow Foam I didn't think worked in the Foam Cannon at all. It worked better like this in a foamer or even in a regular spray bottle um, because it doesn't really foam up that well, even though it's meant to, I don't know, it was weird. It had to be a super high dilution ratio and I, it's just a waste of money to me. If used in something like this, then I think it's more cost effective and it does work. So if you're a big Built Hamber fan, great. There are plenty of other alternatives um, like Super Clean and Extra Tough. Those are much more affordable, um, better dilution ratios, and easier to get your hands on. So take that for what it's worth. You use whatever product you want to use. Whatever you're a fan of, you use. Is it one better than the other? Uh, well, I don't really agree. I don't really see a big difference at all. I've used this, I've used the Built Hammer Snow Foam, and then I go back to my usual methods with my usual products, and I get just as good, if not better results. Take that for what it's worth. Don't just rely on a product, rely on your own technique learn to do things correctly or properly for you and what works for you and run with it, go from there. But don't force it or criticize others 
because you may not know the full story. You may not know exactly why they choose those things or even their methods. We can only show so much here on YouTube. I can't show you the hours of work that really go into this. I have to speed things up. I have to skip things in the video because of time constraints and that's just the way it is. So ask questions before you make statements as a general rule of intelligence and then you'll be able to make your decision with full disclosure. You don't ask the questions and you just make statements, you're missing out on a lot. You just may not know exactly what we're doing, why we're doing it, how we're doing it. Ask questions first.
So the Volvo is now dried and let's take a look at the paint. Wow, right away you can see that bird dropping started to etch into the paint already. So these are the areas we're gonna concentrate on. Whoa, these areas here. So there were some more bird droppings that they uh, tried to remove, but you know, that's what happens. Really, it's just a matter of understanding clear coat, understanding what the products do, understanding the procedure as well. So, you know, we, we do see a lot of this, um, but that's okay. It, it can be fixed and it's good that they bring it to us. We'll fix this and we'll help the customer to understand uh, not to do that again. So we have a couple of spots around here. Now, again, this is not going to be a paint enhancement. This is just going to be isolated areas to polish. There's another one. And of course, protection. There's another one back here that we showed and you can see we use the clay mitt and it you know did slight marring here but that's okay the paint is now squeaky clean and smooth and now we can polish yeah right there and just a simple machine applied wax gets that light marring out completely so don't freak out don't worry don't say oh it's improper wash method no it's not this is a full detail there's no protection on it anyway so we're starting from scratch that's not a big deal. The clay bar would do the exact same thing. Even if you use the best lube or whatever, it's going to do the same thing. Keep those things in mind. Real detailers understand that, they know. Uh, let's see, there's some weird marks back here. Actually, I think these are just weird little sap marks. I think I should be able to remove that with some solvent. Yeah, so it looks like those are, those are the marks we're gonna tackle. So we have a couple of different products we're going to use. I'm going to use the majority um, of the vehicle. We're going to use the blend from Vonix. Now this is an all-in-one polish, but if you just simply apply it like a wax or a sealant, then you'll still get the benefit of, of light polishing, but if you wanna work it a little bit more, then you have the option to do that. But I'm going to use just a uh, black soft pad for that application. In some areas, if we need to kick it up to this pad, the orange medium pad from Lake Country, then we'll do that in those areas. Or we also have the fine cut pad from Kosh Kemi. So I'll use this to cut out some of those defects. Uh, but let's start with this first. And I'm actually gonna start on the orange pad with Vonix first on those defects and see what it can do. All right, that did a great job. Just a few passes and it cleared it right up. There's a few little swirls still there, but the whole vehicle is swirled. We're just getting out the majority of those nasty marks first. Let's start in this little area. I just put a little bit of polish. I dabbed it there because that was a little bit too much for just the mirror. Let's work on this little area. Thank you. Oh yeah, it needs a little bit more. Yeah. Could you hand me the uh, Kosh Kemi? Yeah, and their and their pad. That, that, that pad right there with the yellow backing. There you go. All right, so we're gonna switch over to the fine cut pad and their fine cut F601. And put two drops like that. All right, that, that did it. Very nice. That's nice. Yep. All right, so that is the winning combo. Now, it seemed to work 
the Vonix seemed to work up here. Um, I can probably cut a little bit more, but it did a decent job. It did a really good job. So who knows? Not sure why it worked there, but not there. This is plastic. This is, of course, metal. Um, sometimes they react a little different when you're polishing them. Uh, but overall, let's move this aside again. But overall, that worked incredibly well. Just to get a light to double check it. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Good. Uh, there's a little bit, see right there? But that's okay because look at the rest of it. We're going to clean that up a little bit. You know, we're just going to pass over it with the polisher, but the swirls are going to remain. This already looks dramatically improved and better than the rest of the paint, even after we wax it. This has already gone more like into paint enhancement. But good, that's what we want to do. Let's tackle this. Is it already on the setting? Yep. Lose All right. Out. Oh, wow. All right. Maybe another hit. That helped. But yeah, let's hit it one more time and get that out. But look at the improvement from the quality of the paint, the, the refining of the paint compared to the rest of the vehicle. Yeah. Crazy. More product or no? Yeah. Yeah. Like maybe two more drops. And you can put pressure and go slow. That's better. That's what we're talking about. Oh yeah. Now see, there's still a little bit there, but yeah, that is that is amazing. Oh, you know what? Some of that, oh, it's really bad etching from like the bird dropping. See right there? Really bad etching. That did a really good job. There's still some heavy stuff there, but yeah, the majority of it has come out. Let's do this. Um, let us bump it up to the heavy cut, but same pad. Just one, focus there. just one drop. Yep, and then just focus right there. Oh, that's nice. How'd that do? Now the rest of the paint looks like crap. I know, right? That's what happens. Oh yeah, that's, okay. That's where we're gonna stop. That's acceptable. There's still a little bit there, but that's okay. We got the majority of it out. The rest of the paint is still in really bad shape. We have all these, these etching marks here. They're not gonna completely come out with just a quick waxing, this. so. This looks like fun. Cool. Oh yeah, so let's hit that. That is pretty bad. Awesome. That's fun, isn't it? Yeah, so let's go around hitting all those areas. I think this is what we're going to use for some of the, the heavier things. Uh, the fine cut removed it really well on that side on a few marks, but you have to change it up. So if one thing isn't working, yeah, just bump it up to the next. Oh yeah, awesome. Really heavy, oh, right here. Nice. Oh yeah, it looks great. Looks better. Yep.
Oh, yeah. Kosh came to the rescue. Oh, there's a little bit, maybe a little bit more there. Another hit. Yeah, see, I can still see the, mm -hmm. you know, just a little bit of residue, but yeah, let's hit it one more time. All right, this one took a couple of hits, but it's down to acceptable. Barely, barely noticeable. Now with all of those marks polished out, let's protect the vehicle. So I'm not going to polish the rest of it like a paint enhancement, but I am going to machine apply. So we're going to use our polishers with the Vonix blend with the soft black pad. And we're basically just applying it. Nice, even passes, and that's it. Not concentrated passes or anything like that. This is just application. Now, this will gloss up the paint and it will get rid of the marring from the clay bar or the clay mitt. It will gloss this up, so it will look better. It'll remove that little bit of a haze. The swirls will still remain though, because that's just what it is. So if you want to remove the swirls, you have to pay extra for our paint enhancement or paint correction. Now, the wipe off, nice and easy, and very, very glossy. Now, if you do have issues, maybe depending on the paint that you have, some paint is just finicky, it grabs, it's just weird, you can use their blend or any other spray wax or a spray detailer, uh, but this works together with that polish. It has the same formulation, and it's actually designed for dark vehicles. So, you can just have a spritz or two of this, to help with removing the polish. And again, it's just gonna add more protection. It's another layer and increases gloss, increases slickness. And you don't over apply this product. So I'm going to do this as I remove the wax or the polish, the all-in-one, and it'll aid in removing it and adding that extra layer of protection and gloss. Yeah, thunderstorm. All right, guys, well, the Volvo is clean, protected, and well, we're not out in the storm, so that's awesome. Sorry, mobile detailers. I know, if you don't have a garage, well, you gotta either reschedule or do something else. Having a garage really does make a difference. I'm very, very thankful for that. Let's take a quick look around. This thing is looking so much better. Could it use a full paint enhancement or a true paint enhancement or correction? Oh yeah, definitely. It's got some things going on and it's only a 2020. So yeah, it has some bug etchings. It has some deep scratches going on, but that's, you know, besides the point. That's not what the customer is paying for. They are paying for our full detail, just inside and out and protection. The tires, you may notice, don't have any dressing on them. That's because the owner put his own uh, Dura coating or whatever, you know, the tire uh, sealant that he puts on there that he likes to do himself. So we clean the tires, but we just leave them as is and he's going to do his procedure and put on his own sealant uh, as he sees fit. For the rest of it, it is looking beautiful. Very, very glossy. And we got all of those defects out. The ones here, those are gone. The ones in the mirror, they're gone. The ones up here, they're gone. They're just barely, I mean, barely noticeable. The bug etching down here, or the, not the bug etching, the bird dropping, that came out. 
and all the rest of it. So we just hit all of those with the Kosh Kemi Heavy. Yeah, it all came out. Looks really, really nice. And even this one back here. Oh yeah. Awesome. Well, it's going to sit in here for a few hours until the owner picks it up later on. Hopefully it's not raining by the time that he comes to pick it up because it is pouring out. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. As always, if you are interested in the products, the Vonix products are pretty impressive. You can buy some of them on Amazon, but I'll put links below where you can purchase them. Um, also, the Kosh Kemi products, their polishes are pretty impressive. Um, so we love this fine cut. We use the heavy cut and we use their pad as well. So we use the fine cut pad with the yellow backing, but if you need a little bit of extra cut, you don't have to necessarily switch to a heavier pad. You can do what's called a half step. So you can just switch to a heavier compound with the same pad. So you're still gonna get good finishing capabilities, um, but you don't have to, you know, take out a new pad and then have to maybe use a finer pad and you know make it a more of a two-step type of thing. The heavy cut actually cut and finished really well using that fine cut pad. So you might get away with a little trick like that just doing a half step. So if you need a little bit more um, aggression then just use the compound with the same pad you're using and you might be surprised. As always if you haven't subscribed yet please do and click that bell so you don't miss stuff. And we'll see you guys later. Have a great week. Take care.